Claude Garrett here. I'm doing a little something that we haven't done before. It's a Q&A called hashtag more Morty. This is where you guys submit your questions, whether it's on my Maud Garrett Facebook page or at Maud Garrett using that hashtag or at Geek Bombshells. Make sure you're following both of those accounts on Twitter and you ask your questions. Now, a lot of questions did come through and they kind of took up three different categories. So I'm going to call them Mortified, Work It Girl and Geek Out. So basically, you're either asking career-based questions, like how I got to where I am, Questions about personal preferences or, you know, things about me. And there's the geeky kind of questions, like the either ors, what do you think about this particular news break, etc, etc. So I'm going to break these videos up into three. I'm going to start with the first lot, Mortified. Personal favourite question of mine from at the Lady Jedi. She says, would I rather have my own horde of trained velociraptors by my side to fight crime or whatever? or be blessed with the force. As fun as velociraptors would be, I had nightmares um, with velociraptors for years. I would be at school and then I would look out the window and there would be one there, like with the whole, <laughs> you know, breath pressed up to the glass. And I'd be like, not again, and it would be chasing me. So as great it would be um, to have those on my side and I could train them to do my bidding, I would rather the force. Not just because I would love to be a Jedi, but there's so many things you can do. It's like force lightning, you can force choke, you can force push, you can see the future, you can Jedi mind trick. Way too many things to pass up for velociraptors, in my opinion. Pablo Machado, or Machado, who's got a lot of food questions. So bear with him and thank you. Let's talk food. First question is, pizza is the answer to everything. Yes, it is. Uh, so what's my favorite pizza variety? Cheese. I just saw an ad where there is a cheese pizza with cheese not only in the crust, but on the crust. That sounds so good. Cheese pizza, make me a better happy person. You've also said hard shell tacos or soft shell tacos. I'm a practical person, so when I'm building my meal, I like it to be contained. I just feel that soft shell tacos can be a little unpredictable and sloppy. And I like it to <coughs> like a forklift going into my mouth. And Pablo, you finish things off, not a food question, but with what is the best advice I've ever received? My mother gave me this one. Learn everyone's name. What is the one thing I suck at? Remembering someone's name. Because what happens when I meet someone, they're like, hey, my name's, and all I hear is wah, 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 because I'm in my head going, Maud. Hi, my name's Maud. Maud. Maudy. Maudy? Maud? Maud. Maud. Can I say Maud because I'm an American now? And that's all taking place when they're saying that what their name is. All right, Christopher Michael and Cheddar says, I've lost my keys. Have you seen them? Yes, I have. I ate them. What you gonna do about it? Uh, Sandy Young has said, if you could only drink wine or beer for the rest of your life, which would you choose and why? A great question. It's funny, had you asked that question a couple of years ago, I would have said beer. I went through a massive beer phase. I really, really love it. Uh, and I started becoming a little bit of a beer connoisseur with what particular ones I was into. And then I realized that as soon as I had a sip, I would just expand. And I was like, yeah, why would you do this to me? So the answer now is wine. Uh, my favorite type of wine is a Pinot Noir. Isaac JG has asked me, if you had the chance to be in a movie and play whoever you want, who would you pick? Uh, Fifth Element is one of my favorite movies in the world. And I think that um, Mila jo Jovovich did such a good job playing Lilu. Uh, I think I would love something like that. Nothing to compare it to, but some something where I can completely transform my look, become someone else, like otherworldly, have my own mannerisms and personality. But she is the perfect being. Can you imagine playing someone that's perfect? But I'm not perfect. Not by a long shot. Nerd plus geek equals neat. She says, she's at Nick Woman, and her name's Emma. Hello. She says, if you could switch places with any celebrity past or present, who would it be and why? Who, which celebrity would I want to trade places with? Who's got it, who's got it good? 
Um, well, Anna Faris is married to Chris Pratt. Oof, could kind of switch places with her. Emma Stone, her career is getting better and better, strength to strength, and she's with Andrew Garfield, who w was Spider-Man and has an English accent. Done, Emma Stone. Yeah. And then Neil Crisp says, how did you end up thousands of miles from home living the dream of being an internet sensation? Uh, f firstly, I don't think I am an internet sensation. I mean, it's beautiful that you say that. Uh, I really, really cherish it. But I do completely know what you're talking about, about being a thousand miles away. I am a long way from home. Uh, and sometimes all I want to do is get a hug from mum because I'm having a shitty day. And then I'm just like, mum! And all we can do is Skype. And it's like, <laughs> hug me. Um, so that's kind of hard. It helps that um, I have a, a best friend that I live with who's not only in the same industry as me, so we can talk about the ins and outs of it all and give each other advice and support, but she's Australian as well. Uh, and that's kind of cool because I think that um, it means that my accent still as thick as ever, <laughs> mate. Uh, kind of soppy. I mean, party! Yeah! I'm literally hanging out in my living room by myself. <laughs> I'm the coolest person I know. So I'm gonna stop this here. If you liked the video, make sure you press uh, the, the thumbs up button, subscribe because two more videos are on its way. But uh, I'll be doing more of these, so use that hashtag more Morty, as you can see, um, because questions will be happening. Uh, so this is Geek Bomb, and the bomb has been.